in this video i want to be sharing with you guys three important tips these three things are things you need to look out for as you are starting a rabbit farming business if you put these three things into consideration your rabbit farming journey will be a great success so these three things i want to be talking about are very very important and they play a very key role in the rabbit farming industry and the rabbit farming business as a whole so these three things the number one is feeding the number two is general management then the last thing is cleanliness but i'm going to be starting from cleanliness because that is one of the most important things you need to look out for as you are starting your rabbit farm cleanliness number one then we are going to be talking about feeding then we are going to go to general management so cleanliness in your rabbit farm as a rabbit farmer you need to clean your rabbit cage maximum of once in three days if you don't clean your rabbit cage within three days you are causing your farm a lot of harm although a lot of people say you need to clean your rabbit uh, farm every day but it will be a lot of stress cleaning the farm every single day so that's why i advise farmers to clean their farm maybe once in two days or once in three days as this way it will not really stress you too much to be cleaning it every single day cleaning your rabbit farm regularly will help you eliminate a lot of diseases that were not even supposed to come diseases like mench diseases like sawhawk most of this comes from little bacteria that comes from these rabbit droppings so if you clean the cages every day and these bacteria are not even there in the first place they are not going to see these diseases that i'm talking about so the second thing i want to talk about is feeding your rabbit feed at the end of this video the next video that is going to play will be a video on rabbit feed how to make your own rabbit feed so if you watch this video to the end you are going to see that particular video is a free video on how you can formulate your rabbit feed on your own you don't need to be buying feed so feeding your rabbit with feeds plays a very very key role in your rabbit farm normally you are supposed to hit 1.5 to 2 kg of rabbit size in three to four months but a lot of farmers do find it difficult to even hit even uh, 1 kg to 1.5 in these three months the reason is as a result of feeding their rabbit too much leaves yes rabbit eat leaves in the wild but leaves might not really give them the required nutrients they need to grow very fast feeding your rabbit with leaves needs a lot of skills and other expertise yes because most times a lot of new farmers just pick up any leaves and start feeding their rabbit these leaves you just pick up anyhow might not even add any nutritional value to the rabbit system because most of these leaves you just pick up might contain a lot of water the leaf will not add any nutrient to the rabbit it will just serve as food that to satisfy the rabbit and the rabbit will not be gaining weight with these leaves so if you want your rabbit to gain good weight within a short period of time and grow very well you need to feed your rabbit some varieties of leaf then also make sure you have your rabbit pellets your concentrate or your formulated feed here in our farm we use a formulated feed for our rabbit because of the high cost of pelleted feed yes for those of you guys buying the pelletized feed you will notice that the pelletized feed is getting really really expensive so in our farm here we make our own feed by ourselves but at the end of this video you are going to be seeing how we make our feed because the next video that you'll be seeing to click on is going to be the video on how to make rabbit feed free rabbit feed so you just click on the video then you watch and see what we are talking about the next thing also i want to be talking about is general rabbit management the whole management of your farm most times new farmers coming into rabbit farming might not be really really aware of some of these things especially taking care of the rabbit there are a lot of easier ways to take care of rabbits now we have some things like the nipple drinkers that can help you serve them water very very easily where you just fill the tank and the water is being circulated to the rabbit cages even if you have 100 cages all the 100 cages will be served water then we also have some things like um the feed whereby you just need to put it in uh inside the rabbit 
plates you don't need to go and cut leaves or all most times a lot of farmers do find it difficult to go into the bush search for leaves cut the leaves and bring it back to the farm so if you have your feed in your farm it will be very very easier for you to feed them just pick up your feed like our own now we just mix it with a little quantity of water then we feed it to our rabbit this our feed here can give us up to two kg in three to four months even most times you might even get more than that yes but the our feed formula is not really expensive our feed formula the price is affordable and it takes us for quite some time before we get to buy another one so general rabbit management as a rabbit farmer you should be aware of some of these rabbit diseases the cure and how to maintain these diseases and how to control them not even getting them in your farm at the first place you should know how to inject a rabbit you should know how to give your rabbit oral medications you should know some leaves that works for medicating rabbit you should know leaves that work for deworming you should know leaves that works as an antibiotics you should know leaves that works as a multivitamin for your rabbit that helps your rabbit eat very well all this we have shared it on our youtube channel if you are not subscribed to the youtube channel you won't be seeing all the videos but if you subscribe to the youtube channel youtube is going to be showing you all the videos in the channel so we have done videos on all these things so you need to know how to medicate how to inject how to like take care of the whole farm so that you will not get any mortalities or you will not get more mortalities because eliminating mortalities 100 percent out of your farm is kind of really really hard so if you are able to inject a rabbit maybe if you know how to inject a rabbit if your rabbit gets sick all you need to do is take maybe your antibiotics or your ivermectin you inject it the right amount is supposed to be injected maybe 0.5 or 1 mil depending on the particular rabbit that we are talking about or what is actually wrong with the rabbit let's take for instance your rabbits have something like mange disease you know that okay mange disease ivermectin can cure it ivermectin can cure mange disease let's say your rabbits have something like ear canker ivermectin can also cure it so you need to know the general management like the whole thing in the farm so that when your rabbit gets sick you don't start running up and down to look for who to ask questions or to look for where to get the medication you need to get these medications readily available in your farm and some of these medications are not even really expensive you just need to get it keep it in your farm so that anytime your rabbit shows any sign of illness you just inject it very very fast the very important thing i'll talk about is rabbit cleanliness make sure you clean your cage very very well this will help your farm avoid diseases so for those of you guys that want to learn how to formulate your rabbit feed click on the top right corner right now this video showing here how to formulate rabbit feed click on it and watch the video thanks for watching do have a nice day and peace